you guys seemed to like that video on how to have fun in War Thunder, but since that video was very broad, I figured I would make a video on some of the ground vehicles I think are the most fun to play. Please keep in mind that fun doesn't equal great or even good in some cases. While it can be fun to do really well on the tank, it can also get pretty monotonous. It should go without saying, but I won't be including vehicles I consider to be overpowered. And since the grind is such a pain, I'll try to stick to vehicles that are accessible to everyone. That being said, the first vehicle on the list is a top tier vehicle, the Japanese Type 93 SPAA. It might be a bit confusing to find this vehicle on the list, since I called it the worst vehicle in War Thunder not too long ago. But remember, fun does not always equal good. That, and it feels a bit more usable now. The missiles seem to, for the most part, be fairly reliable if you use them correctly. It used to be that you couldn't hit a plane even if they were flying away from you in a straight line, or you couldn't hit a helicopter that was nearly motionless. That's not the case now, since they hit more often than they missed during the time I played it recently. Even the whole flare ignoring feature on the missiles seems to work. While the missiles do seem to lack potency, I'd say they're about on par with other anti-air missiles. Even if the enemy doesn't spawn any planes or helicopters, there's still plenty of room for you to be useful. I believe it's the fastest vehicle in the game, and it gets scouting, so it is incredibly handy in the reconnaissance role. Most players will barely even notice you if you sit still, so you can just sit back on a flank and designate targets for your team. It's pretty relaxing, and has a definite impact on the battle at large. If that's not your cup of tea though, you can use its agility to rush caps early into the game, or uncap enemy points when they least suspect it. The sheer speed of the thing is fun to mess around with as well. You can ramp off of objects, try to set land speed records, or go mountain climbing. It's very entertaining. And since it can't harm ground vehicles, it's the one time an insanely fast vehicle isn't annoying as hell to fight. To sum it up, the Type 93 is essentially the perfect support vehicle. And since it has a reputation as being useless, no one is going to be placing high expectations on you as a teammate. It's also extremely versatile, because it can be played passively or actively. In my experience, the Japanese tree as a whole is pretty fun, especially their anti-air, so I think the grind to reach the Type 93 is worth it. The next vehicle is Russia's ASU-57 light tank destroyer. I think you guys can already guess why this made it onto the list. It might not be very fast, and it might not have the punchiest gun, but its size and reload rate more than make up for it. It's one of War Thunder's greatest ambush vehicles, and when played correctly, can lead to some very interesting matches. Might just be me, but it being a casemate makes it even more appealing to me. It adds an extra dimension to gameplay that I personally find enjoyable. I'm sure to most people it's probably just annoying. The gun usually takes two shots to kill something, but it has a lot of penetration, and reloads fairly quickly. I'm pretty happy with that trade-off. You'll have little trouble killing the vast majority of tanks you see, but if you do encounter something you can't deal with, simply hiding behind a bush is a viable option. In short, it's great for players that like to be sneaky. It's not as versatile as the Type 93, but I like it all the same. And finally, there's Japan's Chi Hakai medium tank. You could also swap it out for the Chi Hei, which is what I'm using for background footage. The Chi Hakai is at a lower BR, but the Chi Hei has a bit more armor on the front. This pick is probably out of left field for most people, since low tier Japan is mostly a slog, but the Chi Hakai is a notable exception. A couple years ago, it used to be my favorite tank to play, but I basically just forgot about it until now. It may seem like your basic low tier medium tank on the surface, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. For one, the gun has a semi-stabilizer. This vastly improves your reaction time. Second, the gun has a lot of penetration for its BR. The only tank I had trouble dealing with was the B1 Biz. And third, the gun has 15 degrees of gun depression, allowing you to fire from deep defilade. Combine these traits with good mobility and workable armor, and you have a medium tank that you can use in whatever way you want. If you want to do CQC, you can do that. If you want to sit back and snipe, you can do that too. And as a bonus, I think it looks pretty cool. It's also the most accessible tank out of the three, so there's practically no reason not to try it. I beat this point to death in the last video, but it bears repeating. You might not enjoy the same stuff I do, so mess around until you find something that works for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.